Okay, so you want to you wanna learn how to fish in the surf? Well, here's a super easy tutorial. I'll make it real quick. Um, all you got, this is the things that I use. Got a, uh, just a regular bass rod, you know, or any kind of light rod that's about maybe five, six foot or less. Got a, this is a one ounce egg sinker. You can use half ounce, half ounce egg sinkers. Um, I have a bead so that uh, when the sinker comes down and it doesn't hit that knot, hit the knot and break it. <laughs> Attached to a, uh, a swivel and then on the line is just a really small hook. You can hook your either uh, sand crabs up to or uh, your uh, you know, imitation sandworms, uh, plas plastics and such. <laughs> These are uh, probably some of the more productive, the, the gulp. These are camo sandworms, two inch. These ones, uh, if you ask any uh, any fish uh, fishing store, they'll tell you these are the best for surf fishing. Uh, besides from live bait, obviously, like sand crabs, sand fleas. Um, you can use size eight or size six mosquito hooks like this. These work out pretty good. Um, these are owners. They're super sharp, really good quality. Not super expensive. Maybe like. Um, I think I paid like anywhere from like uh, two to four dollars for the pack. They last, I think they last quite a while. You want to use uh, some fluorocarbon line. Um, this is just uh, cheap. I got it for five ninety nine. Quattro fluorocarbon. Um, this is twelve pound. You don't necessarily need twelve pound in the surf. I like to use it because I don't like to lose fish. So you can use like six pound or eight pound. And then another. Uh, Soft plastic is these big, big hammer perch grubs. These cost a couple bucks. They're pretty cheap. This uh, color here is, uh, I want to say it's uh, either, I think it's motor oil. Um, this is one of the most popular. And then bring a little bit of extra gear with me, you know, like some half ounce egg sinkers, full one ounce, and uh, some more beads and, and a, tor a torpedo weight there use that as well um, it's probably about uh, three quarters ounce and then of course bring a pair of pliers fishing pliers and then I have another uh, imitation plastic that I like to use uh, when the wind's not cranking too much um, with a light uh, I think it's like a 3 8 ounce head on it with a uh, uh, plastic swim bait behind it use that for uh, for the surf when it's not windy and uh, maybe for catching halibut and stuff like that. That's that's basically going to catch you your uh, uh, your surf perch, uh, maybe even maybe even corbina or uh, halibut. I pulled up halibut on the on these. Um, all kinds of different things. So that'll get you started, and then uh, you can just move up from there. You can get a cheap little rig from Walmart or wherever. That uh, because our highway patrol buddies doing their evening run. Um, the, yeah, it might cost you like you know like 30, 40 bucks to get set up, maybe 50, 60 total with all your little gear and whatnot. Um, but that's it. that's about it, and then uh, we'll get fishing right now. Have my uh, GoPro hat mount tutorial up as well. If you want to use that, make a hat mount like I make and uh, videotape your sessions.
super easy. You can just uh, check through my other videos to uh, to see the GoPro hat mount. And then I'll show you. I'll show you how to hook up your worm on the uh, your plastic on the uh, the hook, and then we'll just start casting out and see if we can catch something. sandworms look like they look just like a sandworm they work really well All, all you have to do is run it through like this down the hook until you get to about that bend and then it's gonna come out that side and you just pull it down straight you want to make it look as, as natural as possible but right, nice and straight so when it, it runs through the water it runs through like this fish will just grab it
And you can catch these little buggers, sand crabs. These work really well. Use these for your live bait. Or you could get a uh, sand crab sand or sand sand flea rake. And what you want is you want the ones with the row. That's the bottom of them because that's what the that's what the fish are after those eggs. So you just hook them in through the bottom here. Show you on my pole real quick how you hook them And that's it. You got him hooked, ready to go. And you're dragging him this way. You can you can hook him from the front as well. But it's a live bait. This is what they're this is what the fish are after. That's what you want to try to fish with. Anyways, so I hope you found that useful. Um, now go and get some fish. That's what you catch with the sand crabs. Perfect lip hook. sand crabs, get some more perch. Okay, 
the bite's on now. Ooh, that's a good size one. Yeah, that's a pretty decent size one. Oh yeah, these are super good. Uh, fried, deep fried. Yeah, you just flay them, skin them. It's a surf perch. It's called a barred surf perch. Nah, I'm gonna throw it back. You want it? <laughs> you gonna go home? Nah. nah. All right, man. Hey, there we go. Another uh, beautiful little specimen we caught. Gobbled up that sand crab. See if we can catch some more.